have broccolis, we've got some uh, dino kale here, we have a tomato plant, a variety of different types of lettuces. Two years ago, Ken Armstrong started a different kind of vegetable patch in Pescadero, California. People asked me if I was doing farming before this, and I told them no. In fact, everything I ever tried to grow, I killed because I forgot to water it. And you can see the root systems, nice, clean, white roots. And that is one beautiful head of lettuce. Ouroboros Farm is an aquaponics farm where fish and produce grow together in a symbiotic relationship. All of the nutrients are available to the plants at all times. They expend less energy putting out root systems and can expend more energy into growth. Here's how it works. In this pond, there are 800 catfish being raised on organic fish feed. Pipes then carry fish wastewater to troughs where plants grow on floating rafts. Their roots dangle in the water below, sucking up the nitrogen-rich fertilizer. The plants have taken out those nitrates and used all those nutrients out of the system. The clean water then gets returned to the fish tank, where it gets re-nutrified and then begins the whole process again. Aquaponics is basically a combination of plant farm and fish farm. Combining the two cancels out the negatives of both. E. coli and salmonella require a warm-blooded animal in order for those microbes to propagate. Fish are cold-blooded, so in an aquaponic system it is not possible to have either E. coli or salmonella. Another main advantage with aquaponics too is those fish can then be harvested out and used as a protein source. Aquaponic farms are expensive to construct, but once built, they're actually less expensive to run than land-based farms. The self-contained ponds eliminate the need for fertilizers, pesticides, or pricey farm equipment. And though it may seem counterintuitive to grow vegetables in giant pools of water during one of the worst droughts in history, aquaponic farms use 90% less water than conventional farming because the water is continuously recycled and it's not lost in the soil or to evaporation. They could restrict our water usage by 80% and it wouldn't affect us at all. Turns out, aquaponic farming is older than dirt. The Chinese used carp in their rice patties. And now, this ancient farming method may just prove to be the modern solution to drought. I honestly believe this is the evolution of farming, that aquaponics, because of its ability to grow faster, more densely, with fewer resources, that it will be the methodology of growing in the future.